yet another streetlight. Uh, I got this one off eBay, but I, instead of buying it from China, this time I bought it from a UK supplier. And it was a one-off. You know, they had just a random smattering. It was like, you know, they had, like, the electrodeless streetlights, they had sodium streetlights. They're just a few streetlights amongst other farm stuff, so I'm guessing it, it was stuff that was just being stored. And this is quite a big unit. It's about... Uh, 500 mil long, which is about, say about 19 inch long, um, by about 11 inches wide, which is about 280 mil, uh, and it's got the pipe mount in the bottom that is uh, fairly common for these things, it's got the two screws for clamping down, and it's, it's also got two ribs at the bottom to actually um, bite onto if the pipe's put in, and at the opening here it's about, let's see what is it, just over two inches, but just over 50 mil. So um, I would say it tapers in, so I'd say it's standard, it's for a two inch pipe really. And this being a typical street light, well for a start, uh, we should power it up, shouldn't we really? Uh, it's got a very odd flex. The flex colours are red, yellow and black. I'm not sure why that is. That's not even, a, a, it's similar to the old British colour code of red and black, but the They've normally been green yellow, so I'm not sure why they've used this colour of flex. But let's power it up and see what sort of power it takes. I can see already it's using one of the big massive square chips, sort of like the um, cob chips, the high power ones, and it does say in the label uh, 50 watt. So I've got a power meter here and I'm just going to flash this up. Let's uh, check that these wires actually are what they're might appear to be, so I'm just going to do a wee continuity check here. And this is where we also find if it's uh, the main one I'm looking for is the earth here. It's earthed, yeah, okay. Thought that would be a good idea before going any further. This is where I find out it doesn't work. Oh, that's bright. Yeah, that's, that's very bright. So, uh, that is drawing 50. 3 watts. So let's say 3 watts the power supply, 50 watts the LED, or thereabouts. Yep, that's pretty good. God, that's quite an interesting shade of white, actually. I'm just going to actually, so while this is on, I'm just going to look at the beam pattern on the floor. Uh, it does seem... It does... Yeah, it does seem a wee bit wider. Uh, the, the reflector does seem to be shaping it to a degree. As you'd expect of a street light, you know, to light along the road. So let's uh, open this up. So I'm wondering, uh, there was no labelling in the box. It came packed in polystyrene shaped, so it seems to be a... It looks like it's a proper commercial unit. You know, for actual industrial use. I wonder what the history is. I wonder where this one came from. Certainly it's got really big uh, heat sink fins. It seems to be well well heat sinked. Uh, now, let's, it's got the typical baggage clamp type thing you find on uh, the industrial street lights. So this uh, usually just levers down with a bigger screwdriver normally. And opens like that. And then this should just hinge. Whoop. Oh, and it actually it pops right out. Okay, that's worth knowing. Yeah, this is uh, siliconed in sort of permanently, which is reasonable enough. Okay, I'll just put this cover out of the way. What do we have? We have an earth wire. That's nice, isn't it? So many of these things don't have an earth, but this... The cable is not... It's just through a hole in this. Well, not not even any grommet or anything like that. So, um, that uh, seems to be fairly common, these. That I've only had one that's actually been sealed. I wonder if they do rely on the angle that the light points up, that it's not going to uh, get too much uh, um, water getting into it, if any. So what have we got here? We've got a very big power supply for a 50 watt supply, which says model HLY-L3615CCA, 10C5P, for that must have been 10 LEDs and 5 rows, input 170 to 265, 56 hertz, output 20 to 38 volt, 1, 1.5 amp, pretty typical for a 50 watt LED. And out it says blue and brown, but it's actually black and red. Oh, the colours are all over the place in this. So, um, let's, uh, here's the LED itself under its plastic reflector, which makes sense as well. 
um, I shall unscrew that reflector. We we'll should check the LED for quality as well. How's this uh, showing up in the... it's showing up alright. It might be a little bit dark because I was just... Uh, yeah, it should be alright. Oh, this screw is covered in silicon. Is this a little anti-tamper thing? So they can see when someone's had the thing open? Not 100% sure. It does look like it, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, if that was not even screwed down, it just sits over it, I wonder. Oh, it's, it's just held down by the reflector. So there's the LED. Which looks slightly different from the normal. Here's one I blew up earlier. Uh, same pitch? Yeah. Oh, I'll try the other one that I blew up. These were Duff LEDs. Uh, these are from the video where I deliberately blew an LED up by connecting it across the mains. Oh, they, these have a different arrangement. I've never seen that before. They bring the wires through these holes and soldering them onto these terminals here, and there's no terminals sticking out the side. That's very odd, isn't it? I've never seen that before. Uh, let's test the LED. I can see it's got... Oh, it's... yeah, it's goo. Oh, that's me, got silicon all over my hands. So, the LED looks replaceable. Quite odd, that arrangement there. I just haven't seen that before. It's strange. Um, so let's test the LED now. Uh, I mentioned that these LEDs that I blew up, this one more dramatically by putting resistors across the back for extra bangs and flashes, uh, really rubbish when you actually stick them across the mains just for the sheer malice of blowing them up. They fail in such a controlled manner that the fuse in the main supply uh, it doesn't blow. They just There's no noise or anything, just a brief flash and... And it fails in a controlled manner. Um, but these LEDs weren't duff, they weren't good ones. I wouldn't actually blow up a good one because they're so hard to come by. And to prove that, here's a here's a, another duffer. And I've got a power supply here. So let's... Uh, just give me a second here. Alright, oh, okay. So here's a duffer LED. Um, I'm trying to think, what can I put in front of this to mask it down. I can't really see anything that I can use right at the moment. But uh, trust me when I say that yeah, you can see from the pattern it's not even illuminated. It's not running at full current. But um, it's one of these situations that the series strings of LEDs are just randomly dotted about because a lot of the LEDs are actually leaking current without actually emitting any light. And it is true that as you turn the current up they'll start glowing. But that's not a good thing. It means that LED will not never operate properly and efficiently and the current won't be shared evenly between the uh, outputs. A lot of people when I put up my video describing how these aren't great LEDs when you have this situation said, well, it's because you're not giving it the full watts. Well, that's a bit like saying that if your car's missing a spark plug it's fine just so long as you floor it. It's not, you know, just because it's a, just because you're really ramming current through it to make it light up doesn't mean it's a good result. So uh, these ones uh, are, are very defective. You know, a lot of the chips are just leaking a lot of current, like hundreds of milliamps without any light coming out. And what I'd expect, and what we'll try with this LED and see what sort of quality it is, uh, I'm going to disconnect the power supply in this, and then we'll connect uh, the power supply directly onto the LED and I'm using a current limited power supply to protect the LED and I'm going to turn the voltage up and see how evenly the LED is light. So that's at 21 volts, there's no illumination, that's good, that's a good result, very good indeed. I'm turning it up now. All the LEDs have just started glowing absolutely minimally and absolutely perfectly. They're all lit at a very low level and it's not even drawing one milliamp. So that suggests to me that is a good LED. I'm turning it up. I'll turn it up until I get a hint of current. I'm not getting... That is so... That's a good LED. That's it just showing one or two milliamps now, and that's putting out a lot of light, and all the chips are perfectly matched throughout it. So that, that looks like a decent LED. How rare. That's at almost worth the value of the fitting. Oh, I paid uh, 30 quid for this. 15 quid for the fitting, because I won it in an auction, and 15 quid for the shipping um, to the Isle of Man, which is pretty good. That's fine, I'm happy with that. 
So um, yeah, good LED. That's nice. That's a good good result. Um, and this ballast, this driver, looks like it's not it's not like the wee skimpy ones you get. You know, let, let me see if I can find out. Oh, I think I've actually buried those other ones. I think I've put them somewhere. But yeah, it's not like one of the wee half size ones. It looks like a fairly decent one. That's notable that the earth wire that's coming into the fitting is going into the ballast, the driver as well. And it is clamped down. It's got a screw through the plastic lug at this end, but it's got a metal plate at this end. And this whole thing has a chassis plate, so it might be designed for other... Well, actually, it's designed dedicated for LEDs, so it might just be designed for bigger drivers. So, um, I think I'll be changing the flex on this for a start, because uh, the, the, these colours are odd. Red, yellow and black. I wonder... Um, if they're a, a specific colour for another country. But it looks okay. It, it does actually look like it's a pretty functional light. And I'm guessing that if it came to the crunch, if these did start failing in, in you know, on location, uh, apart from the risk of dropping screws everywhere from a great height, you could theoretically, um, with the correct gear, you could change an LED, although, to be honest, it'd probably be easier just changing the whole head and bring the other one down. I get the feeling a lot of the earliest street lights will be going... Um, will be find their way, the dead LED streetlights will find their way into uh, warehouses and big piles and then getting skipped over a period of time. I have seen some locally, uh, actually through in Douglas and the Isle of Man, which are all very stylish. The lampposts come up and then it's a swooping curve with the LEDs in it. And uh, all, everything about it just says that's probably going to fail within a year and you're not going to be able to change the LEDs and it was very expensive. Lots of it looks like an architectural folly to me, but time will tell. But yeah, this this looks pretty good. Earthed, um, decent construction. It's got the rubber seal and the proper clamping system that will really drag this in and close it tightly like traditional streetlights. So it looks looks pretty interesting. I quite, I'm quite happy with this. It looks pretty good.